Hey guys, Greasy Bear here, and today I'm going to show you a simple setup of a particle system to make grass and weeds. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to launch my blender, which is open, and then I'm going to use my my Quixel bridge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to snatch from my purchased areas. One just loads up. I'm going to go to my 3D plants and what I'm going to do is I'm going to export uh, the grass here and that's going to export over to Blender so I'm going to move this to the side and then I'm going to actually I'm going to move it into a new collection and uh, I'm going to select all and move it into this collection and then now when I go back to bridge and I start bringing more grass in we'll export these in um, they get put into the scene so I move them out of the way but they're in the collection so so far I got two kind of weeds these two kind of weeds I'll grab like some 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 of these dry weeds these tall dry weeds we'll use those uh, just put them in blender move them to the side uh, go back in uh, this dry plant set we'll, we'll grab that as well and uh, we'll export that as well and as you can see right here they're all to the side I'm just gonna push them out of the way so they're not in the way because we're not going to be really using them we're just setting them up for a particle setup so they're all in the collection so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to a surface and I'm probably going to go to an asphalt or a debris or soil. Let's see, um, down here I, I might have a soil. Yeah, no, I don't like any of that. Let's go back to the asphalt and uh, I'll just take this crushed asphalt ground. Hold on, I got some other. There's debris. Okay, we could use this ground rubble. Okay, now this is being exported as a texture. So nothing's gonna show up here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to go to my preferences and under my preferences, if I search for A, N, and T, you'll see this add mesh ant landscape. You're gonna turn that on, which I already have it on. So you're gonna turn this on. It's, it's built in the blender, it comes with blender. So you're gonna turn this on, you're gonna save your preferences. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a mesh and down here, it'll show up as landscape. I click landscape and then over here, here's the menu. I go to operation presets, I go to large terrain. Now the terrain's real choppy. So I kind of just, I select it and then I hit S and Z and I just scale it down. So it's not so, you know, not so choppy, but a little choppy. That's cool, right there. And then my next move is, I'm gonna go over here into my materials and it's the ground rubble right here. I'm gonna change it to that texture so it looks like a ground. So let's see what we got here. Okay, after this loads, it looks a little funky because we're gonna tab into the face and we're gonna, un, uh, I'm sorry, we're gonna, whoops, we're gonna select all. We're gonna un, unwrap this. And then I'm gonna uh, tab back out. And that's kind of like the ground that we're gonna use. You can change the, uh, the scale of it down here in the setup over here. Let's see if we do 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, a little smaller of a setup. So anyway, that's looking good for the ground. So I'm going to turn it back off to the solid. My next move is I'm going to slide this up. We're going to get this landscape out of the collection because we're going to use this collection of all these flowers and plants in order to make up the, the particle system. So then I'm going to go down here. To this particle system, I'm going to add a particle system. I'm going to turn the preview off and I'm going to hit hair, advanced. I'm going to go down the rotation, click that. I'm going to set the rotation to 
global X. That's normally what they normally are. Then I'm going to go down to render and under path, I'm going to select collection. And then down here, I'm going to select collection one and then object rotation. Now, everything in this collection now is going to be on this. So now I'll turn my preview on and you can see it. And you see some of it's kind of small, you know, it's little, it's, it's showing up a little bit. So you can actually go over here and select these and scale them up. And as I'm scaling it, you'll see it scaling up on the plane. So you can just scale them up a little bit and move these out of the way. Come in here and then you can actually start hitting your, your emission settings on this, like your number. Here's the thousand. Let's make it 5,000. Uh, let's set the seed to one. And instead of the hair length being four, let's make it like eight. And there you have it. There you have like a grass scene from a particle system. And I'll turn it on. And I do need some lights, but as of now, it looks pretty good. And let's switch this over to Eevee and see if it looks any better. Yeah, it's giving me a better preview. So there's the grass. And that's your scene right there. And that's how you would make the grass. And if you wanted to hide more of the ground, what you would do is you would go click on the plane, make, make this 10,000. And that gives you a lot more grass. And you, know, and you can always change the 8 to 12 to make it taller. You can make it 2 so it's like real short and stubbly. You know, so it's up to your preference and what you need it for. So eight's kind of cool. That's that looks really good right there. And then you can just kind of copy this this plane right out of your scene and start a new document. Or if you have another instance of Blender opened and you want to drop this into the scene, you can do that. And that looks pretty good right there. So that's how simple that is to do. So basically, all your settings are over here, and you play with them, and you come out with the one you want. So I hope this video helped you guys. Let me try and put on uh, maybe a, a, a light system here so you can see. Yeah, it, you know, you can see the, there you go. You can see the grass better. Looks nice. And this is, this is Eevee, by the way. But um, yeah, it gives you a cool look of the grass. And it doesn't all have to be this desert, you know, beet desert grass. I mean, I could go in here, honestly, and depending on what kind of grass you're using, it will determine, you know, what's in here. Like, I mean, this is all weed looking and kind of dandelion-ish, but if I go in here and I go back to my, um, <clears throat> excuse me, down here into my favorites, and let's say we, we bring in like like these, these kind of roses or amaryllis and we bring them into the scene and i'm going to move the main one out of the scene but and then i'm going to scale it up but you could whoop, wrong direction but you could see <laughs> that's way too big hold on i'm screwing this up there you go so if you scale it up really s slow you can put them in the scene too so that's how you would work with uh you know, grass with a particle system in Blender. And honestly, you can use grass walled assets. You can use uh, grass essentials. You can use the bridge that I'm using with Quixel. Um, they all got similar kind of things that you can append in and set up in a collection up here. And then you basically apply the collection as a particle setup on the landscape. And you see what I've done here. So hope this video helps and um, thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it. Take care.